And lost the puck as he took it to the middle. Now goes to Dugan. Thompson to Kelly and a one-timer score. It's a power play goal. Michael Callahan and the Flyers have a one-nothing lead. Beautiful passes around the perimeter. Callahan winds up for the one-timer. That puck gets through traffic. Tucker loses sight of that puck, and this one is low, hard on the ice. You're going to see Tucker actually got a little bit of his glove on it, potentially even his blocker there. But beautiful power play goal. Thompson to Callahan for a Friars first power play point game. Eight of the first nine games that he has played in. He's got at least two points and BU scores. First shot from the left point. And we're tied up as David Ferentz does it again. David Ferentz had two goals in last night's game. He's continuing his scoring streak today. Take a look at this wrister from the point. I think that one, at least from this view, Mike, looks like it might have gone off the post and then right back in. We'll take a better look here. David Ferentz just winds it right up. Nope, goes right through. Michael Lackey, again, saw good traffic in front of the net. And he works it right back into the zone. Zegers, drop pass, back to Zegers, back shot, score. David Ferentz again. Power play goal. He's got four goals on the weekend. And it's 2-1 Terriers. Such a beautiful puck movement on this goal, Mike. You see Trevor Zegers with just a nice give-and-go look to David Ferentz. Beats Michael Lackey with a wide open net. Mike, this is what happens when you can move the puck that quickly. You see that nice give-and-go. That's the kind of play that you practice. You know that he's going to make that right play. He is very dangerous and low. Shot wide, rebound, score! First collegiate game, bangs home the goal and we're tied at two. Jamie Engelbert with a beautiful goal. He breaks free here, Mike. He does an excellent job of getting that puck to his forehand. This is a hard fought battle in front of the net against Alex Vlasic in front and boy, Mike. Seth Dugan back, he's got a man joining him, two on one, it's closure, holding his Dugan. Shot save Tucker. That was kind of a slow motion. The puck will throw it to go. Well, credit the referee didn't blow the whistle. And that puck just leaked through Tucker and wound up in the back of the net. Closure, I think, is going to get it. He was the one that got his stick on it. And it'll be Max Closure's first collegiate goal. We got a good look here, Sonny, in the overhead. And what a tremendous example of how important it is to play through, keep their eye on that puck the entire time. Fires a one goal lead, fourth power play of the game, four. Down to Super Moran, center and feed, loose puck. Janet Emmett scores! Parker Ford with his fourth of the year, second on the power play. And the Flyers have doubled the lead, it's 4-2. And Parker Ford, he held his ground in front of the net to draw the penalty, Mike. And then you're going to see him hold his ground in front of the net, find a way to find that loose puck, win the battle, get that puck on his forehand to find the back of the net. This is just a hard-fought battle. Parker Ford to give the Friars a two-goal lead. Get it to Thompson, good handling. And the Terriers, four-man rush up ice. Cross feed, save, Lackey, rebound. Wide Harper on the next score. Seagrass gets it. The Friars were out of position, scrambling there, and great job by the Terriers to get the puck to Seagrass. It's a one goal game. Trevor. And Sorry. Hey, man, Seagrass. He's got a goal tonight, Seagrass. And Jimmy was taken ninth overall by Arizona. Ferrance scores. Hat trick for David Ferrance, and we're tied at four. It is his fourth power play goal of the weekend. And David Ferentz is on fire. Segris places a perfect pass to Ferentz. And like anything that comes on David Ferentz's tape, 
finds its way to the back of the net. This was a huge power play goal for the Terriers, and David Ferentz has been un for the spectators, and you can see here the fans are really engaged in this game, and why wouldn't they be? We have seen uh, just a really exciting... Tyce Thompson, Johnny on the spot, picks up the rebound and bangs home his eighth, and the Flyers retake the lead. Well, and Tyce Thompson adds to the excitement of this game to give the Friars a one goal lead now and everything down low, Mike. You've seen the Friars just go hard to the net. They are winning those battles right in front. Go. Now it's Ford. Good job by Dugan staying on side. Drops it back. Closure a one title. Score! Max Closure's got a pair. And for the second time tonight, the Friars have a two goal lead. Max Crozier with just a laser shot from the point. Jack Dugan does a great job here, though, setting up Crozier for that goal. Crozier gets that puck through, and Mike, there's so much heat on it that even though Brooker had the first shot, that puck just continues to travel in. So Sam Tucker's back in the nets as that one broke through Brooker up. As O'Neill taking into the boards, Masterson Moni comes out. Back to McCarthy, that shot saved by Lackey, and they score! Ethan Phillips on the rebound, and it's a one-goal game. Ethan Phillips keeps the Terriers within striking distance. This is going to be another first collegiate goal of the game, of the season, of a career for Ethan Phillips. And again, just a scrappy, hard-working goal. You play until you, you hear that whistle blow, and you know, we talk about young players on either side. Terriers all trying to work it free. Down to five seconds to go. Young up the wall, back to the point. Shot wide and out of the way. Flyers get themselves a big three-point weekend, and they're out to salute Michael Lackey. It was an entertaining game from the puck drop. Four goals in the first, five in the second. And Sonny, the Flyers finally get one at home. Well, this was a good one for the Friars. This is a huge confidence booster. You saw a lot of contributions from those younger players. You had a couple players score their first collegiate goals as well. Jamie Engelbert and Max Crozier. Great to have that sort of depth start to come through your roster.